Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor out here in this uh, Defiance 25 uh, sold boat. Uh, got most of the stuff fixed. Uh, I got a little list here. Nothing big. The bathroom light don't work. The anchor you got to keep up in that position right there because if you have it in the other position and that works, but I ain't going to hit it because then it'll flop down again. Because when you go to load it, that anchor is going to hit right on your winch and uh, you're going to get hung up. Trim gauge still doesn't work. I really don't use it anyway. I go by feel. Uh, they took the tongue jack off. We're going to put a different one or rebuild the one that's on it. Uh, the center bait tank lid's missing, which no big deal. You'll probably lose it anyway. Uh, radar, uh, it worked on the first, second, third time. The fifth time I didn't try it. Uh, but 10 to 1, it's intermittent, so it's probably in that power cord. Because when it says no radar, that means it ain't getting any power. And it's the way it's probably been sitting and riding. Okay, now the sonar, you couldn't lower the transducers to hair because about 30 miles an hour, I lose the depth on that. And if this happened to go out, just say it did. In the very back, if you look on the far right, just hit the power cable. Uh... But other than that, I think everything else works on here. Anchor, uh, stow, trim, needs new tongue jaw, bait center, yes, no radar, yes. Head trim, okay. Sonar, power cord, back heat, yeah, okay. So that's that. Okay, so anyway, it looks like they put a new battery in, or they did, now it's working. I think that runs all your gauges and everything. Uh, sink works, that's this button right here, you hit it, you can hear the pump. When you're charging the battery, like with the short power, you got to make sure this is on, you got to make sure your battery charger is on. If you want your refrigerator, you have to hit this one. Now when you're running this on 12, just kick all these things off. Uh, this does work, and make sure you turn that baby to zero, okay? That's way back up into there. Because if you leave that running uh, and you have the batteries, it's a couple days and you're out of juice. And uh, right there is your holding tank. I'm going to try it out. You don't have a lot of water, not your holding tank, but your fresh water. And I'll see on that. Okay. There might not be enough water in there. I hear the pump working. It does have hot water, believe it or not. But you're not getting any water up out of that. So that's kind of telling me you probably... Don't have enough water for pickup. Okay. So then back here, the bathroom light still don't work. Then here, that flushes it. And then right up in here, you got your, uh, I think it's your, usually the water pump. Water pump. Okay, I think that's for this. I'm not quite sure on that one. Let's see. That's your toilet. So that pumps out your toilet. That one right there. Okay. Now I'm pretty safe for a little while. So horn works, wiper works. I'd probably add a second wiper. Spreader lights work, bait well. We'll hit that, that's the center one. Live well, when you hit that, that's for the side fish boxes. Trim tabs, key switch, tag, speedo. Uh, wash down, we'll hit that one. Bilge pump works, nav lights worked. And I can hear the bait tank in there. So when you hit this, 
this goes for this and goes for that sink right there. There's your horse down. Now, the only thing I haven't figured out, I'm going to shut that off, is I'm almost thinking this is fresh water. raw water okay and then this one yep that's working I shut that off get these all off now this is the power for your electronics uh, this light works that light works like you say the lid that master control doesn't work you really don't need the tie bar that's off empty it you just go like that and it empties it those are sea cog valves that's your for your fish boxes that one takes out of that one and you turn it the other way and it takes out of that one okay kicker motor trim her down go like this start it just leave it like that hit the start button you got to make sure it's in neutral Go like this, and you can leave it like this. Tighten it up. Go up here. You can go ahead and steer it. It's actually a nice riding boat. And down the road, that's pretty good, but if you want to, you can always, you know, update your electronics. They're getting cheaper. If you do, go Garmin. Without bailing, and again the panther doesn't work. So then bring this back, neutral. Hit the kill button. Hit the trim button. Kick that up. There you go. 250. Kick that back down again. That way you don't have to keep, if you leave that up, then you don't have to worry about water getting in there. Okay, so then the main motor, uh, you just hit here, fire it up, battery switches up underneath there. Now you fire that up, these are electronics, hit these two, that's your radio. Then you gotta power this up, power this up. You gotta, eee, don't, what, yeah, give it a second or two before you get too crazy. Nice depth finder. Uh, drop those a little bit. We are getting in 17 feet, so we'll get out here. We'll let this thing warm up. And I'll head back the other way. A little cold and windy today. Shut the window. Tack works. Speed works. Fuel gauge works. Flow works. Then when that comes up, you just push this button here, then select which one you want. You just spin it like this. I'm going to try the radar one more time. It said hit the menu button, then go down here and just tap that. And it says connecting to radar. But then if it comes back and says no connection or power, then that's that cable that's back there. I'll just give it another chance. And it's going to take a while to load, okay? So don't get, hey, how come I don't? Get my latitude and longitude, my speed over ground and course over ground. Give it about a couple minutes. She'll load up. And it says connecting to radar, but see, no radar found. That means that cable probably is gone. And then you just hit OK. OK. Then get out of that, back up. We don't care. And then go home. Then we'll go to the combo. Hit this one. Depth finder is working. See how you're not getting your readings yet? That's okay. So I'm gonna give it some speed and here's what I'm saying about that going out. Once I get her up to about, we're doing 11. And I always start with the trim down. And if you notice, I'm leaning a little bit to the left, right? Don't use your trim tab the less you need. See how it started straightening out again? So once I start trimming this, once you're on plane, trim it first. 
back to and I can set that range yeah see it auto set to 60 and I got all my readings so that if you ever lose that that means your transducers are too high so everything there is working fine <clears throat> and if you want to go between the screens like say this is highlighted and then see this does just functions on this one here and then you can go place marker if you want to go back get you out of that then if you want to switch you hit this until it highlights over there and then leave it alone or you can do the screen size larger or bigger and then you can zoom in just by doing this put your waypoint marker up and down so now we'll trim down on this again see how long it takes to plane 1001 1002 1003 1004 about five seconds, not bad for most of the time. thing back now it is trying so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna go to my charts right here I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna see it's still trying to load the satellites so I'll just keep talking so I can show you that it does work now if you wanted to make a say over here a waypoint you just move that down and then you hit menu and then you can navigate to if you want to or you can just eliminate that just go back and then what you do is go here again whoop chart no oh, it won't let me do it now my data waypoint star track okay come on you silly thing go home go to charts then you should be able to hit menu if I move my guy oh because it hasn't loaded it. If you notice, my guy ain't there. So I can't find the ship anyway because it hasn't loaded the satellites. So it says right here, no radar, fix, no plotter. So it's loading it up. You know what, I'm gonna go to settings real quick. Uh, alarm system settings. Okay, autopilot off, GPS setup. Okay, internal GPS is on. Yes, yes. Uh, differential is off. Press the restart GPS. I lost. View satellites. No fix, no satellites yet. Go back. Internal is on. On. So, okay, it's just going to take a while. There it is. There's your latitude and longitude. Just lit. Now I lost it again. You silly son of a gun. So I'm going to go this way for a second. That's why I don't know. You should go to a external antenna is what I would do. Because you can lose your satellites. Because I just had it. Okay, go back, back. 
Oh, that's taking forever in it. <laughs> Zoom in and out. There, it loaded right here. So it takes about five minutes. So if you had an external antenna, it'd be like almost instant, just so you know. So there's your miles and hours, of course, over ground and your latitude and longitude. So once it loads it, you should be fine. It just takes a while for that initial setup. But all in all, it's a pretty good boat. Okay. So now you see how I got my cursor right there. Now you should be able to, now that it loaded, you go into here, presentation setup. Uh, let's go back, should be my data. Waypoint, let's start track. We don't need that. Go back, back. Because what's gonna happen, I'm gonna lose my guy. I think. See, so you can put this back on top of that guy right there. And we'll see if we lose it or not. Got a lot of bait in here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, good. Because if you see ever see like a little fine ship guy right here, you just hit your menu and you say find return to vessel. This is what you do. Right now it's tracking me pretty good, so we'll leave it there. Yeah. All right. I think I got everything I can give. Uh, it just needs a good clean job. Kicker runs good. Main runs good. I'm a little slow, but we all know, and I'm a poet, <laughs> and I know it. All right, Boat Doctor out. Nice boat, Defiance. Um, and they even got the new quantum radar out now, but I don't know if that machine's capable of it or not. So anyway, Boat Doctor out.